I want to say a few things, and this fits really hand in hand nicely with the concept of uh, the divide and conquer agenda. Okay. Um, Related to that InfoWars interview that I did, you see how many people come out and say absolutely ridiculous, asinine things. I mean, you know, from people who don't agree with Alex Jones on a particular topic or think that, you know, he doesn't cover things that they think should be covered, instead of them going out and becoming the alternative media that they should be, you know, they want to say people are shills. You know, I've been accused of this. You read the complete asininity going on in uh, YouTube comments, which I don't even understand why people who post alternative information even allow YouTube comments on their stuff and give idiots a platform to, to voice their total dribble, you know. But we'll get back to this after the break, folks, and I'll, I'll continue with that line of thought. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to What on Earth is Happening here on RBN. I'm your host, Mark Passio, my website, whatonearthishappening.com. And I was talking about the clowns out there that, you know, because somebody doesn't cover something the way they want it covered, or doesn't talk about a topic they feel is important or should be covered, uh, then they must automatically be some kind of a show or a disinformation agent or somebody trying to hold back the truth from other people. I mean, just grow up, people. I mean, it's just such utter nonsense garbage, you know. First of all, go do something yourself. How about that? Okay, how about that? No, 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 then everybody shuts up right quick, you know, because they can't be bothered to get involved in the great work. No, they just want to complain about somebody else who they don't know. You know, people talking about me like they know me. Trust me, you don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I do on a daily basis. You don't know what goes through my mind. You don't know what I go through at all. And people should stop trying to pretend like they do. Because I'm quite frankly tired of it. I don't really care who's offended by that statement. You know, I'm not here to be liked. I've said it since day one. I'm not your friend. I'm not your leader. I'm not your guru. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. And then go put the word out yourself. No, because that might take some time and effort in your life to do that. You want somebody else to do that for you. Then you want to complain that they don't do it like you would do it. Well, please, by all means, set the example and show me how it's done. There are people like this are a bunch of morons. I, I, just, I almost slipped and like let, let loose with something that, you know, I, with bad language that would have gotten me probably in trouble with the network. Because that, I'm, I'm on the brink of like just totally going off, you know, when I hear some of this garbage out there. You know, I have to really try to restrain myself because, you know, at some point I'm going to let slip and let people know what I really think. And it's going to come out in South Philadelphia street language. Okay. Because I'm, I'm on the edge, folks. I'm tired. I've had enough, quite frankly, you know, because when these occultists say that they are going to do something, they follow through with their will and they get it done because they're on the same page. They are united in dark care as I've talked about many times. They care about getting their agenda in place and they actually put their will behind it, they put their mind behind it, and then they get it done. Unlike us who sit there debating on whether this person who we're going to sit and listen to instead of actually become involved in doing something in the world and helping to change other people's minds is genuine or not, or whether he's a shill, or whether, you know, uh, because he runs some advertising uh, you know, he, he's owned by corporate overlord masters or whether because uh, I have a couple of skulls in a case in my, in my uh, you know, uh, work area here by my computer to remind me what should I be spending my time doing because life is the time of life that we have to spend is limited and the skull simply acts as a reminder that you are mortal and you will pass from this mortal world at some point. So, you know, when I feel like getting up from this computer, doing the work that I know I need to be doing, I I, I take a glance over there and I say, you know, maybe I need to get back to work, you know, because I've given up my life to actually do the great work instead of the, the complete idiots that are out there looking to somebody else to do their work for them. 
and saying, oh, he might be a show because he doesn't talk about th- 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 this and that. Just shut up, morons, because you're the shills. That's what it really is. You are the shills if that's what you do. Okay? You don't have to be paid by anybody. You're just a useful idiot dupe that doesn't understand what the great work is because you're not doing it. You're not doing it. And people want to make stupid asinine comments about, oh, he's wearing some kind of a satanic emblem. It's called the seat of life, dunce. You know, it's sacred geometry that represents the generative principles of creation. In other words, how we actually create reality through what we believe and then put into effect through our actions. You know, what we've accepted into our minds. Not, I shouldn't even use the word belief, through what we know, through the knowledge we've come to understand. 